Today we're going to be fixing picture rail. Um, you see we've got an internal angle over there um, external angle there that's what we're doing oh and that external angle is uh, it comes away at an odd angle as well a useful tool is I'm not up this little stool look and it's uh, wider than it is high so I can use it that way up if I want a little bit of height to look down on top of the, the uh, rail and that one is for looking up underneath you put the picture rail flush with the top of the architrave and then mark so and then we're going to level them round okay, we've got um, we've got our mark and then going to level off Dead level, single marks, just look short ones, and then I'm going to then do the same thing again there, but turn the level round and work right around the room. Hopefully, when I get back, I should come back in line with it. Of course, we will. Now, there's several ways we can do the joints in the corners, internal, external corners external corners then a simple miter like that is the only way to do an external corner in my view um, internal corners you've got two options you can scribe like like that which means that that's going to fit over there neatly or you do a miter DIY I think miter is the simplest way but you know, me being a chippy, I'm going to actually scribe. <laughs> so, first thing first, we, if we want to scribe, we've got to cut a mitre on the end. So you're going to want a, a back saw, or you can buy these hard point, you know, you don't have to sharpen them. This one's one that I sharpen myself. But I'm beginning to lean towards the uh, the hard points, there's a hard point, it's not a very fine cut but it, it'll work but you can buy these fine cuts you're going to want a pumping saw so, and a crank ok so first we crank our piece that we want the scribe joint on So, I should use my back saw. There we go. Now what I'm going to do now is use the coping saw to follow that line round. Now, always use a cramp wherever you can. I always reckon it's a third hand. Be careful when you're cramping something, if you are sore, you don't put it in such a way that as you saw, you're going to knock your fingers on the cramp. Coping saw, you can get different quality ones of these, you really do need a decent one. And what we're going to do is very carefully follow that, that line round. As I do it, as I do it, I'm going to just bias the saw so that this front edge is actually a leading edge you could do this with a jigsaw um, and a, a chip you may well do this but if you're doing it DIY I would suggest that you did it by hand purely because it's easier to control something than you're doing right now. There we go. And now we come down that square. Just bias the saw to the back. And 
and then to come back from the other way on the other one Which brakes off that off it? There we go. Now that should be as neat as nine pence. Why nine pence should be neat, I really don't know. There. How's that? You start on the farthest wall working back to the door. So scribes are cut over so your eye sees the scribe going against the, uh, the farthest ones away. And I like to do everything not by measure but by sight. So that and all through there like so and marked off and we just cut that one square. Right, when it's cut and ready to fit, we then need some uh, countersink holes to take the head of the wood screw. Like so, about 400 centimetres, just roughly. Like so. Then you need an ordinary drill that will clear the red plugs, because we're going to drill through here and these red plugs are going to go through. When you're drilling your hole, through, um, always have a piece of something back in it, that stops it breaking egg on the back end. So that's what we're doing. So, and then once again, each each one of those, and a hole through. Okay, but next you need a drill to clear your red plugs, or whatever plugs you're going to use, red ones are fine and ideal. Bit of tape around the drill, depth of the screw, plus a bit, eight, ten mil. material I've got so what I'm going to have to do is put a join in it 
and it is I think it's wise to put the scribe because we're looking at it from the doorway so I'll, I'll be scribing over that one put the scribe on the end of the longest length then I'll cut a joint a scarf joint on the end of that long length and on the, a shorter length and then I can fix the long length and then fix the short length so the next thing is how to cut two pieces together now I've got the two lengths I intend to use and there they are running parallel with each other and cramped into position in the in the work rate and the and the motor saw I thought there are other ways of doing it but this is just one of them the important thing is, is that they're both parallel with each other yeah how's that hopefully when it's up it'll look as good as that hammer Now to fit our cut piece in, we put that up against the wall and just mark the longest point there. It doesn't matter if it's going to be slack, this one goes this way and we scribed over it. Now we're going to cut that square and that will slip in there and nicely. Cut it neatly. That looks, oh that's going to be lovely. And put a little bit of glue on there we go, there's a close up. When you've got a corner that's not 45 or whatever, and then the way to do that is to take a, a bevel and just place it on the corner, keeping it level, because obviously if it's not level you can see it'll be it'll be different. So you must keep it dead level with your level lines that you've already put around. Like so. Push it tight. There we go. Okay, we're going to bisect that angle. To bisect the angle, just take any mark, say there. Then mark. Then set the compass at any distance you like. Put it right on the mark where they, this mark and that mark right. In other words, just in from the edge. It's only so that you've got somewhere where to hit a thing. Put a mark and then a mark there. Then same thing. Scribe. Just just slightly in from the edge and scribe and the bisected angle is where they two cross and where we put the point of the compass there and that's your bisected angle and that is where that's the angle we're going to cut our picture rail or if it was skirting board skirting board too so you'd set it like so and that's the angle we're going to cut. Mm. Just to show you again what we've done, we had a mark there, we set the compass and marked it like so. We then transferred that mark up there, we then scribed an arc so we then scribed an arc from there so where the two crossed that is the angle so that's the angle from there to there that we're going to cut okay now we need to cut that joint so we've set the bevel to the angle now I'm going to use a bit of MDF what I'm doing is making up another mitre block with the angle that I require on it. So, 
then square that down you could mark this directly onto the piece of that you're going to that you want to cut but we've got several to cut so we might this as well do it like so and we come to there I'm going to cut that cramp that there That's the other hand. Pop that one up there. Let's check that it's where it should be. looks perfect to me so here's the finished job there's an internal scribe there look and we come on round this is obviously one of the rooms there's the one where we made the join we the little scarf joint and it looks uh, well you can't see it there you go all done all finished and all painted. Good job. <laughs>